In this video, we'll try to create a simple Hello World program. So in a previous video, we started creating a simple Java project. By default, IntelliJ will create a default main class with a Hello World message. So we'll try to see how we can create a simple Hello World program in IntelliJ. So let us jump into the IntelliJ. Hey, thanks for watching our content so far. If you're new to Training Monk, we're the fastest growing technology training company and create content to help freshers like you to master the disruptive technologies like full stack development, AML, cloud, DevOps, etc. If you like the content so far, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon not to miss any new content from us. Like and share this video with all your friends. Let's build your career and the community together. So this is the project that we created yesterday, the Java fundamentals under source folder. We have a main class got created. So this is called as class. If you look at the syntax here says public class main and with public static void main of string args with system dot out dot printl and hello world. So this is the default code that IntelliJ creates. We'll clearly understand what is this public class main and what is this public static void main of string args and the system dot out dot printl and of hello world. This is the default code. In order to run this default code, IntelliJ will give you a lot many options. So if you want to run this project or if you want to run this main class, so you can click on this current file here and just click on run. So once you click on run, you can see sir, something is happening at the bottom and then you'll immediately see that you got the hello world message, whatever you write inside your system.out.println. So whatever the message you want to print, you have to write inside system.out.println will understand what is this syntax and then why we use and instead of using this default main class if you want to create your own hello world program how do you create this so to create that you simply right click on src and go to new and here you can select the java class so any program that you write in java you have to write it inside a java class so we'll understand what is java class very in detail in our further videos but to create any program we have to choose this java class so once you click on this java class so here you can enter the name of the java class so here i'm just giving it as hello world so when you're giving a class name you have to follow certain coding standard that each word must start with an uppercase letter if you can look at Hello world are two different words. Now hello H it will start with capital H and world starts with capital W. So this is what is a convention for creating any new Java class and then select here it is a class. The moment you click on this now you can see under source folder there is one hello world class got created and the syntax is given as public class hello world. Right. So now we would like to print a hello world message in order to print this we need to write public static void main of string args method okay so this is what is a main method so in java the execution of the program starts from main method and the syntax of the main method must be public static void main of string args so instead of writing this whole method right so now simply what you can do is you can type just main now the moment you type main IntelliJ will recognize and automatically suggest you that hey would you like to create a main method here you see this by default is giving main method declaration the moment you select this it by default writes the syntax of your main method automatically so this is the advantage of using IDEs IDEs are smart they understand the syntax and then will auto suggest you in lot many situations. So you always need to practice certain kind of shortcuts in order to speed up your development in Java. Now inside this main method, suppose I want to print hello world or welcome to Java fundamentals program. So if you want to write or if you want to print anything, then you have to write system. The moment you start typing, so your ID recognizes this and gives you the system. The moment you press dot, it by default gives you what are the thing that you want to write here. So I want to select out here and then the println. You see the by default, it also gives you the println method. So inside which I'm just giving double quotes to print a message. So any message that you want to print, you have to print it within the double quotes. Now I'll just say hello. Welcome to Java programming, right? So now 
the moment you enter this this is basically a just message a string message that i want to print so instead of writing the system dot out dot println you can use a shortcut command called s out so the s out is a shortcut form for writing system dot out dot println you see now if i say s out so by default it creates system dot out dot println and move your cursor inside println to write what you want okay so now i'm writing an another line here saying java is awesome so you can write whatever the message that you want to print so now after you write everything you have to save the file so to save the file you can go to file and then click on save all or instead of that you can use control s as a shortcut command to save your file you can write n number of system dot out dot printl and messages to print it into the console so in order to run this one so now what you can do now if you can look at this this by default is selected as current file just click on run so once you click on this now you can see that it is running the current file and then prints hello welcome to java programming and java is awesome so if you want to run this main you have a green color button here so this is an other method for running your main method now you see the moment you put your mouse on it it by default say hey do you want to run hello world dot main method so if you can select this it by default gives you the option you can select the first option so that it will run and then display the same output that instead of running it from here now you see by default now it is selected hello world and since you have two different classes one is main and second one is hello world you can switch from here what do you want to run right so now you can run hello world or you can run main so this is what is hello world that you can run it and then if you want to run this now simply you can select this and then select this to current file and then just click on run so by default it runs your main so from here you can switch what you want to run or the current file so like that this is the way we create a simple hello world program in intellij